Ladies and gentlemen, on your walk to recovery. I want to ask you a simple question. How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? And when were you going to stop and come back to do what makes you truly happy? I see people stuck in jobs they don't love, working the same routine day in and day out with no moments of true happiness. But I want you to know that today marks a rebirth, a chance to rewrite your story. Life has a way of pushing down our dreams, burying them under discouragement. Past mistakes, divorce, low self-esteem, and everyday challenges. It's easy to pick up drugs and alcohol to deal with the despair. It's much harder to take the bull by the horn and thrive. It's easy to settle for mediocrity, even when we know our potential lies dormant within. Each of us has a dream deep down, a calling that we can feel strongly about, but life sometimes hits us with setbacks missed promotions, health issues, failed relationships, and more. Don't let circumstances talk you out of your dreams. You may not understand why things happen, why your business didn't succeed, while you were molested as a child, while your parents didn't love you, why life took an unexpected turn. But these challenges are all part of the process. It's the cost of admission and it's part of your journey. Your dream may be buried, but here's the good news. It's still alive, waiting to be realized. It's never too late to see your dreams come to life. You have to start believing again, reignite your passion and get your motivation back. Don't let setbacks define your future. The true mark of a champion is in shaking off the dirt thrown on your dreams, not letting it bury them. It's about continuing forward and looking for new opportunities. To reach your highest potential, you must be in it for the long haul. Don't let people talk you out of your dreams. Don't let circumstances discourage you. Don't let delays cause you to give up. And don't let critical people distract you. Stay focused on your goals, for this is your time, your moment, your destiny calling out to you. Dream big and take action to make those dreams a reality. Believe in yourself and your capabilities for self-assurance is a choice. You must choose to believe in your abilities and your potential to achieve the results you desire. Believe that you have what it takes, the inner resources, the talents, and the skills to turn your dreams into reality. Remember, you are capable of making your dreams come true. It's time to act and make it happen. Don't let doubters or haters convince you to be realistic or quit. The only person who can chase your dream is you. It's your dream, your responsibility, and your opportunity to change your life. You have the power to change the world with your dreams but it requires you to get out of your comfort zone, to let the lion within you out of its cage. It requires you to chase your dreams relentlessly. Stop talking about your dreams, start working on them. When life knocks you down, get back up. Be a lion for a lion never stops chasing its prey until it catches it. You should never stop chasing your dreams until you live it. Your dream may be closer than you think, but it will only become a reality if you refuse to quit. Be like a lion, 
Never back down from the challenges you face. And remember that only you can decide when to quit on your dreams. You are more powerful than you realize. Embrace your inner lion. Let it roar and chase your dreams relentlessly. Don't limit yourself. Dream big and don't let small minds convince you that your goals are out of reach. Many have achieved greatness before you, and that's proof that you can too. It's your time to shine, your time to chase your dreams, and your time to make them a reality. You have the right stuff, the abilities, the talents, and the skills to create your desired results. All it takes is your unwavering belief in yourself and your determination to make your dreams a reality. Never settle for less and always aim for the opportunity in the immortals. Dream big and chase your dreams with open eyes to make them possible. It's time to be remembered for your achievements and your dreams. So start today and chase those dreams with everything you've got. Get up when life knocks you down, for in that action, you will find greatness. Get up when you relapse, for in that action, you will find greatness. Get up when you want to use again, when you've been trying to be sober, because it's in that action, you will find greatness. Get up when you are triggered, when your partner leaves you, when your mother abandons you, when your child rejects you, for in that action, you will find greatness. And on the other side of greatness, there is sobriety. Don't bunt. Aim out of the ballpark and for the company of the immortals. It's your time to act, to believe in yourself, and to make your dreams a reality. So dream big and never let small minds convince you that your goals are out of reach. Life is unpredictable, full of surprises, and your dream may be closer than you think. Refuse to quit. Unleash your inner lion and chase your dreams with relentless determination. You are more powerful than you realize, and you can change the world with your dreams. So what are you waiting for? Let the lion within you roar and chase your dreams relentlessly. You've got what it takes. Now go get your sobriety. My friends in recovery, you are alive for a reason and today is a gift. You have another 24 hours, but remember, none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. So what will you do with today? The monotony and meaninglessness we sometimes feel in our lives are often due to a lack of direction. It's time to set a course, to get focused, and to make the most of every moment. Within these next 24 hours, ask yourself if you can level up even by just a fraction compared to to yesterday. Can you become a better version of yourself, grow stronger, and gain more wisdom? Can you get one step closer to sobriety than you were the day before? Can you change your perspective and find new opportunities within these hours? Recognize the incredible power contained in a single day. This day is a unique opportunity, a chance for a fresh start, a chance to forgive, to let go, to move forward and to reach sobriety. It's a moment to seize, to become aware of where you stand in all aspects of your life, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially and physically. Take control of your day. Decide that this is your day to read a new book, 
to start anew, to make an investment and to invest in yourself. This is your day, your time and your turn to conquer the day. Remember, you may not be here tomorrow. So rise and seize the opportunity. To conquer the day, we must first heal. It's time to heal from the mistakes of yesterday, from the words we wish we could take back, and from the words that were said to us. It's time to heal from the pain and the hurt, from the words that pushed us down but never lifted us up, from the words that keep us stuck in sobriety, from the words that led to our addiction, and from the hurt and pain that keeps us trapped in a cycle of drugs. Today is the day we must choose to heal. After healing, we must acknowledge what went wrong, learn from our mistakes, and set new boundaries. Break the cycle of mediocrity and redundancy. You have purpose fulfillment and destiny right at your fingertips. Embrace the truth that only by becoming aware of your current situation can you make meaningful changes. When you recognize your focus and discipline, you can direct your energy and attention toward your goals. A high threshold for pain will be necessary on your journey. You will face disappointments, but you must stay focused, even when it's painful, ostracizing or excommunicating. The pain will subside and you will succeed. To crush the day, you need to plan, set clear goals, write them down and get specific about your vision. The power of writing down your goals is tremendous. Your plan becomes your mandate for action. Surround yourself with a circle of accountability that helps you correct your course and offer support. Healing, learning, planning, and taking action are your keys to conquering your day and achieving your goals. Rise, for this is your day to make the most of every moment and to step into a brighter future filled with sobriety. You have the resilience, the grace, the faith, and the courage to stand up and rise. Embrace the day and conquer it, for today is the day for your sobriety. My fellow warriors, yes, it hurts sometimes, doesn't it? Sometimes life can make you feel alone, trapped in a dark place where it seems like no one cares. But there's something crucial you must realize. It all begins with self-love. To transform your life, to make a meaningful impact, you must start by loving yourself again. It's time to let go of self-hatred. Understand that life is a journey. Don't view it as a temporary assignment. While we all know that life is short, many have realized too late that tomorrow is never guaranteed. Each day you wake up, you have another chance, another opportunity, and another moment to make a difference. Life is not a game. It's a profound experience. It includes the good, the bad, and most importantly, the right now. You can't wait for someone else to make your life better. It's up to you. Focus on yourself, but remember, this doesn't mean forgetting others. It means shedding what doesn't make you stronger what doesn't empower you, and what doesn't lead you to a better place. Please don't give up. 
Life is a precious gift, and once it's over, you can't return. Leave your mark, help someone, and become the strength for others when they are weak. One day when you are at your weakest, someone may lift you up. Remember, we all struggle and no one is immune to it. Keep fighting, keep living, and breathe life into yourself and the world around you. It's going to hurt. It's going to be tough. But remember, when it gets tough, you get tougher. Make your mark in this world for someone out there didn't make it today, but you did. Keep living. Keep living strong and never give up. You have this moment. It's not about worrying about tomorrow. Tomorrow doesn't owe you anything. It has already been decided. Focus on today, on the chance to do something great with the life you've been given. It's possible you've been through hell, but remember, hell doesn't own you and it didn't create you. Life is a gift from a higher power and no matter who you are, everyone must struggle and suffer at some point. Even in the most successful people who have had to go through their share of pain to achieve what they have, some aren't even willing to endure that pain to reach their goals. Beyond your own struggles, we must also remember those who face greater challenges. What about those who can't walk or talk? What about those who are suffering from incurable diseases? What about you? What are you going to do with the life you have? How will you live? How far will you go? Will you feel sorry for yourself when the day doesn't go as planned? Or will you acknowledge your achievements no matter how small? We all have a responsibility and we must be accountable. Put in the work and keep pushing forward. So don't give up because there's always someone out there who is hurting, who is struggling, who has it tougher than you. So why would you give up now? Challenges will come your way and you must be ready to face them. Don't stay down, rise up. When something is weighing on your chest, release it. As long as you're breathing, your heart is pumping, you're not defeated. So ensure every breath you take counts for something. It's time to understand that if you want something out of life, you must be willing to work for it. You need to ask yourself how much you're truly willing to give. Are you prepared to endure the hurt and struggle required to achieve your goals? If you're that person, then it's time to get moving because time doesn't wait. Time has made up its mind. What are you going to do? Life wasn't meant to be easy. It takes grit, tenacity, and sacrifice. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. This isn't a pity party. It's your right to celebrate life, both the good and the bad, because nothing is greater than the act of living. The power to change, the power to evolve lies within you. And there's a world out there waiting for your unique contribution. In this world, there are people who don't believe in you. But instead of worrying about their beliefs, focus on believing in yourself. Live, breathe life into every moment, and let your existence be a testament of your resilience and strength. To your recovery, this is Dr. O. Hello, my dear friends. Today, I want to share a story from my own life, one that carries a powerful message about overcoming challenges, dealing with judgment, and owning 
your journey in sobriety. I recently received news that a high school classmate had passed away. It was a moment that made me reflect on the fragility of life and the importance of reaching out to others when they are in need. I knew that she had been unwell with a breathing tube in her nose and I had intended to ask her if she needed anything, offer my help and just be there as a friend. However, life had other plans and she left us before I could. But as a natural leader, I decided to take charge. I assumed the role of our senior class president and offered my support. In her memory, I bought a tree, a living memorial, to give solace to her grieving family and commemorate our shared past. I reached out to my former classmates, asking for contributions to share the cost. While many stepped up to support this meaningful gesture, some did not. And I ended up paying the remaining balance out of my own pocket. It was a choice I would make again and again without hesitation for the memory of our dear friend. However, amidst the generosity and unity, there was one classmate who questioned the allocation of leftover donations. The irony lay in the fact that this classmate hadn't contributed a dime, yet demanded an explanation about funds they weren't entitled to. At first, I felt a surge of offense, but then something else took over, empathy. I began to pity this classmate, to wonder how it felt to lack the courage or will to invest even $10 in a heartfelt tribute, yet find the audacity to question those who had. You see, people who fall short, who cannot rise to the occasion often underestimate the effort it takes because they simply can't relate. All she saw was a magnificent memorial tree unaware of the countless hours, money, and resources poured into its creation. It was easy for them to judge because they were not the ones tasked with responsibility. Now I ask you to reflect. Who in your life is underestimating you? More importantly, who are you underestimating? The fear of doing it wrong or being scrutinized or judged might be keeping you from fully showing up in your journey to sobriety. It's crucial to recognize that judgments from those who haven't walked in your shoes can't define your path. Today, I want to make a commitment to show up boldly, authentically, and powerfully in your purpose. Put aside self-doubt and the limiting strategies that hold you back. Your sobriety is rightfully yours and no one should diminish its significance. Stand tall in your truth. Remember there will always be spectators on the sidelines ready to pass judgment on your life's game. But these judgments often come from those who lack the courage to play the game themselves. You cannot allow your journey to be dictated by those who lack the drive to succeed. Instead, keep practicing, keep improving, and keep perfecting your game. Success is not about getting it right the first time. It's about practicing until you cannot fail. The world can be tough, and people sometimes let their insecurities drive them to undermine others' accomplishments. Stand strong and unyielding. Let your success speak for you. You are more than capable of achieving and maintaining your sobriety. Your strength is your testimony to what's possible. So remember this, you've got this. You are not alone on this journey. Greetings fellow individuals on the journey of addiction recovery. I want to take a moment to remind each and every one of you of the incredible power that resides within you. The power 
of your mind. You see, our minds are like the control towers of our lives. Everything that happens, every decision we make, it all starts right here within our thoughts. As the saying goes, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This means that whatever we are today is a result of what we've been thinking about all these years. If you're not happy with where you are right now in life, perhaps it's time to ask yourself, what am I thinking about? What do I think about myself? What do I think about others? What do I think about addiction recovery? Our thoughts have a profound impact on every aspect of our lives, from our relationship with ourselves to our relationship with others, from our sense of direction in life to our successes and failures. But here's the beautiful thing. We have the power to control our thoughts. You see, what you've created in your life so far was not an accident. It's an activation of your conscious wishes, desires, and aspirations. But sometimes interference from our subconscious mind can derail us from our path. That's where the power of mindset comes in. If we understand how to reprogram our subconscious minds, we can eliminate the negative patterns that have been holding us back and replace them with behaviors that aligned with our true desires. It's about aligning our conscious and subconscious minds so that they work together to create the life we truly want. Remember, you are a creator. You were born into a state of abundance and joy, and you have the power to manifest heaven on earth. It's just a matter of tapping into that power and believing in your ability to create the life you desire. But it all starts with your mindset. You have to believe that you can change, that you can overcome your challenges, and that you can create the life of your dream. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. So from this day forward, make a commitment to yourself to become cautious of your thoughts. When those negative voices start to creep in, remember that you have the power to reset your mindset. You have the power to be a prisoner of your past or your circumstances, but you also have the power to create a new reality for yourself. In the journey of addiction recovery, the power of mindset cannot be overstated. It is the driving force behind every step taken towards healing and reclaiming one's life. Here are seven powerful insights into the transformative power of mindset in addiction recovery in hopes to assist you on your journey to sobriety. Number one, believing in possibility. The first step towards recovery is believing that change is possible for you. No matter how deep the struggle or how many times you have faltered, Cultivating a mindset of hope and possibility lays the foundation for transformation. By embracing the belief that a better life awaits you, you can summon the courage to take the necessary steps towards recovery. Mindset shift number two, cultivating resilience. Recovery is not a linear path. It is fraught with challenges and setbacks. However, a resilient mindset allows you to bounce back from adversity with renewed determination. Instead of resilience, instead of viewing your setbacks as failures, try seeing them as opportunities for growth and learning. Through resilience, you can navigate the inevitable ups and downs of recovery with grace and fortitude. Number three, embrace self-compaction. Addiction often stems from a place of pain and trauma, and recovery requires a deep well of self-compassion. By adopting a mindset of kindness and understanding towards yourself, you can release the grip of shame and self-blame. Self-compassion allows for forgiveness and acceptance, paving the way for healing and self-discovery. Number four, fostering mindfulness. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in addiction recovery, allowing you to cultivate awareness of your thoughts, emotions, and cravings without judgment. By adopting a mindset of mindfulness, you can observe their triggers and impulses with curiosity rather than succumbing to them. 
Mindfulness empowers you to make conscious choices aligned with your values and goals. Number five, harness the power of positive thinking. Positive thinking is a potent force in addiction recovery, reshaping negative thought patterns and beliefs. By cultivating a mindset of positivity, you can reframe challenges as opportunities and envision a future filled with hope and possibility. Positive thinking fuels motivations and resilience, empowering you to persevere in the face of adversity. Number six, seek support and connection. Recovery is not a solitary journey, but a collective effort that thrives on support and connection. By adopting a mindset of openness and vulnerability, you can reach out to help and lean on the support of a network during difficult times. Connection with others who understand and empathize with your struggles provides solace and strength in the path to recovery. And number seven, celebrate progress, not perfection. Finally, it's essential to adopt a mindset of progress over perfection in addiction recovery. Recovery is marked by small victories and incremental steps forward, not by perfection or instant transformation. By celebrating each milestone, no matter how small, you can build momentum and confidence in your ability to overcome adversity and thrive in recovery. In conclusion, the power of mindset in addiction recovery cannot be underestimated. By cultivating beliefs and attitudes that foster hope, resilience, self-compassion, mindfulness, positive thinking, connection, and progress, you can embark on a journey of transformation and healing. With the right mindset, recovery is not only possible, but profoundly empowering and life-affirming. So my dear friends, I urge you to embrace the power of your mind to harness its transformative potential and to step boldly into the radiant dawn of a new reality. For within you lies the power to transcend your limitations, to rewrite your story of life, and to embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment that knows no bounds. Together, let's illuminate the path to recovery. Let us celebrate the triumphs of the human spirit and let us forge a future filled with hope, healing, and boundless possibility. The journey may be long, the road may be arduous, but remember this, within you lies the power to transform your life and reclaim your destiny. With love, solidarity, and unwavering belief in your potential. Peace and blessings, Dr. O.